Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is for a subscriber or viewer. And I was not going to make a video for this. I've already answered it to her in one sentence. She couldn't get the nodes. She couldn't get it to change any nodes or see any nodes. Well, that's because it's grouped together. You just have to go to Object and Ungroup Object. And then when you grab your Shape Tool, you'll get your nodes. But I was just kind of looking at it, and I realized it had a problem. So I thought I would help her. Uh, and it, I just, uh, it would take too long to put it on paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to left click, right click. And you can see a problem right here. And right here, there's more than one line. And if you started doing this with the shape tool, you will see that if you get rid of that node, get rid of those nodes, you've got multiple shapes there. So the easiest thing to do that is to click on it. And if it doesn't click on it, you need to go to object and break curve apart. If that one particular object does not click, click on it and then hit your delete key and delete it. And you still got a little whoop to do there. So on that case, we'll set our nudge factor on point, let's say 2.5, a quarter of an inch. We'll just move that up with the arrow key, delete that, and move this back with the arrow key. And the more you use Corel Draw, the more you'll be able to see these double lines. Like I can just see that immediately. So just click on it and hit delete. And if you delete one like this and it goes away, then there was just one line. Like right here, there's another double line, double, double circle. Here's another one. Just because it's a little darker, further away, it's not a hairline anymore. I actually was trying to get that inside one. And I'm getting that one. Let's zoom in here. See if we can't get on that. See, there's a whole nother double one right there. So what you could do in that case, and they're, they are grouped together still. Let's go back to the original. Let's use our nudge distance to get that thing out of the way and then delete this one. Grab that one back and go back the two steps. Um, you know, there's a, there's a hiccup right here. That's going to cause you trouble. You know, join those two nodes, and there's several ways to do that. But the easiest way right now would just be to do it like that. And there's probably a couple more, but I'm not going to take your time in the video. Like here's a double line, and it's really not going to cause you, you know, a problem with engraving. See, you can see on these letters there's double line. But if you'll get this done before you start your shape tool and cleaning this thing up and that's probably the same scenario see there's that double that is grouped together just hit delete and that's why i like not using the nudge distance because you can put it right back where it was so just go through there and clean that up and then well we're going to do one more i can definitely see and see it's the same way hit that one. You don't have to go all the way out of the way. Hit that one, hit it back, and then just move it back with the arrow keys. Then you can take your shape tool and have fun. You know, delete this one maybe and that's too much. But just play around with these nodes. You know, maybe don't delete that one, but it's got a little sharpness to it. Grab it like that and make it more of a line. And this wouldn't be a bad one. If, and I think she has X or 2018 Corel because of the fact that she sent it to me in that format. Let's, uh, you, this would be a good example for using the smoothing tool because it'll smooth out those nodes right there. Anyway. 
I hope that helped her a little bit or them. I always say male or female without really reading the email. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.